you guys? It's Mark here again from the mobile hotspot and today I'd like to show you guys a theme that I found on the Android market. It's a theme made for Go Launcher EX. It's the ice cream th ice cream sandwich theme for the Samsung Galaxy S2. Of course, I would highly recommend a dual core device. However, a single core device can handle most of the transitions. It has some sort of 3D effects and uh, some effects that might demand more hardware uh, power. Let's take a look into the ice cream sandwich theme made for Go Launcher EX. It's a really nice theme and very well thought out. And from first glance, you probably can't even tell any difference. I personally can't tell any difference from this theme and the actual thing. Um, it represents ice cream sandwich very well, aside from the minor differences like the ba uh, the battery bar, which is not um, blue. It still has this uh, stock uh, Android uh, gingerbread uh, battery color. And amongst that, there are some Samsung uh, trademarks from TouchWiz 4.0, and you know that stuff you just can't get rid of, unfortunately. But as you can see, the theme is very fast. There's absolutely no lag. I haven't experienced any lag or any hiccups whatsoever. Uh, it hasn't forced closed like a lot of the other apps on the market. But uh, anyways, the clock, obviously, from my scheme sandwich. This widget here is actually from Go themselves. I will leave all of this down in the, in the description below. And uh, let's take a look at the, the app launcher. And as you can see, it resembles the ice cream sandwich pretty much 100%. I, I wouldn't say 100%, maybe 95%. But the most of the stuff is here, like all recent apps and running apps, which you can have the option to close. It's kind of like a task manager. And of course, in the bottom here, if you look, is a it's what you appear, I get, I don't know what you can call it, but I guess it's a touch button, which is what's on the actual ice cream sandwich. It's no, it's no longer utilizing capacitive touch uh, buttons anymore. So uh, I'm not too sure what's going to happen when ice cream sandwich comes out. And uh, these three buttons on the bottom, the home, the menu, and back, I don't know what's going to happen to those three buttons. But it'll probably take up some screen, screen real estate. But for this instance, this uh, theme, it, it still utilizes your stock buttons, uh, whether you have hard, uh, physical buttons or uh, capacitive touch buttons. So, um, and of course, the drop down menu is still the Touch Wiz 4.0, and nothing, basically nothing else has changed. And of course, if you go into menu, there are different options. You can add the t your typical shortcut application widget, your Go widget, um, if you have downloaded any. And as well, you can go into preference, which is a long list of all the stuff you can do with this theme. And it's not only for this theme, but it's actually for um, Go Launcher EX as well. So uh, you guys have a lot of things to play with. And if you go into themes, there's a lot. And as you can see here, there's ice cream sandwich, Go Launcher, Honeycomb. This 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 platform is very good for um, installing themes on your device. As I said in my intro, I do recommend a dual core processor. Not to say that it's a necessity, but it will make the, your experience uh, more seamless. As I haven't experienced any lag whatsoever on this device. Um, you could you could use a single core, there's nothing wrong with that, um, but there are trans, uh, transition effects that might demand more hardware power, but I don't think it's going to be a big problem for you guys. But uh, yeah, I'll leave everything in the description down below, and uh, if you guys like this theme, give me a thumbs up, and of course, as usual, comment and subscribe. See you guys in the next video.